Alright, so hello Trogolodites, and today we're going to be seeing exactly how far can you push a Raspberry Pi 5. You know, can you use it as a daily computer? How, how far can you go in terms of daily computing things, you know? So let's find out. Alright, so now that we have our web browser set up, let's do some basics testing, DB. Into the next section of the video. Now it's fine at 480p. That's a good sign. Uh, well, skipping through the video is fine. So it doesn't even expose 4K. Interesting. Okay, now that's more what I expect. Yeah, so for standard 1080p video. Alright, so that's fine. I guess it just doesn't like 60fps YouTube video, but that's pretty heavy anyway for low-end devices like this, and we're just chunking along there, so... Alright. 1080p is fine. 1080p at 60. Not so great, but it's just chugging away, so... That's pretty cool. So, okay, so we already knew for general browsing this thing's fine, you know. So we're using 1.8 gigs of RAM so far, so that's... We're chilling, man, we're chilling. I wanna keep opening more tabs, more tabs, more tabs. Let's pull up our flat pack. Oh no, let's go to the Arch Wiki. How do I do things on the Arch Wiki? Okay, cool. I also need to go to Reddit. Oh wow, cool. I'm looking stuff up on Reddit. Um, rules and regulations in this restaurant menu. Cool. It's a little slow, but again, that's I guess what you would expect from a Raspberry Pi. Alright, so you know, basic internet stuff. That's fine. Ooh, it's going now, boys. It's zooming. And like we're still, I mean we're doing all this and it might be a little bit sluggish. Like it's not super responsive, but it's doing it. I mean I have all this open. We're installing apps, we have task managers saying we're using about two gigs of RAM so far, which is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so when I'm doing office stuff, you know, I need to make my presentation. So yeah, so this, This is a thing. So yeah, so I can do that. Now I want to go and grab a picture of a, of a dino. Let's go do that. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a perfect one for my, uh, ooh, it's in stock, that's cool. So yep, let's just go in, kind of paste a picture. Yeah, I can kind of scale that down a little bit. Yeah, look at my, I haven't used, I'm a only office guy. There we go, look, dinos are cool, guy. Yeah. So anyway, I can make all my slideshows. And all right, boys, I need to edit a photo to put into my presentation. Whilst I'm doing my calculations. <laughs> All right, cool, we have GIMP going. Let's create a new image here. Sure, 1080p. Is the picture still in here? Yeah, all right, here's my dino. I need to do some things to this dino. Alrighty then, so. There we go, look at that. <laughs> oh no. But anyway, there we go, look, I can make him bigger some basic stuff. I mean, look, people aren't going to be doing, like, super advanced, you know, like, turbo mega production Photoshop super work. Yeah, just doing stuff like this. Like, look, it's flying through. It's flying through, baby. That's a, that's a pretty friggin' cool dino right there. That's a, that's a pretty friggin' cool one. There we go. I don't know if I copy this and paste this big boy in there, huh? Hope it's thinking. Oh, <laughs> it's thinking. But it's still going though, to new layer. All right, can we scale this down? 
There we go, look at that. We have our dinos on there. You know, we have some cool ass dinos. There we go. So that's my presentation, so why we should have dinos in the office. All right, so I think we've proven that using uh, basic tasks like a normal person would do. Uh, maybe we don't have enough tabs open, but whatever. It's just, it's fine. <laughs> We're using like half of our RAM. Um, and we're just chilling. But that's not the main test I want to do today. Let's get to the main test. Alrighty though, so I've prepared some demo footage off camera that we're gonna try to edit in Kid and Live on the Raspberry Pi. Remember we installed Kid and Live earlier. So, let's see how this works. But, let's try 1080p footage. 1080p work. That is my uh, question. Okay. Slowing down a little bit, but it's still, it's still working. It's a little slower. But I can still edit away just fine. It's still faster than I'm trying to edit 4K60 on this, I'll tell you that much. Okay, now that's slowing down <coughs> a little bit, trying to do effects on 1080p footage. She's slowing down a little bit. That's fine. All right, 200%, that's, that's fine. Okay, what if we get to 500%? That's still respectable. All right, how long will that take? Probably forever. Oh, the CPU, it's going. <laughs> I mean, again, would you want to do a, like a massive production on this? Probably not. Would I recommend doing this? Probably not, but holy shit, it's doing it. This is crazy. Is it actually gonna be smooth when I try to play it back though? <laughs> okay, it's um, yeah, it's about what I would have expected for that. Try to do it that much at once. Okay, and then we're gonna do our preview rendering. You can, get away with doing basic 1080p video editing. That's pretty impressive. How fast is that gonna render out? Oh boy, <laughs> it's pretty slow. Can it handle 1080p 60, boys? Can it do that? Definitely not playing that back at full speed, but it is playing it back smoothly. Enough that I can edit it with, so that's cool. Okay, that's working. 200% speed is working. Sort of, it's a little slow, but it's Passable for a preview. This is surprising, actually. Yeah, now that's, um, we've hit the limit of what that can do there, 300%. It's, um, chugging. But yeah, this is impressive. I mean, this is 60 FPS thing here, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I think this is, 60 is definitely where it uh, caps out. Maybe it could do 4K, I don't know. I don't think so, I mean it's a Raspberry Pi. But yeah, I'd say this is pretty impressive. Let's do the export test. And how's that gonna render out as? Before it was slowing down pretty hard. So that's gonna take forever, three FPS, okay. So that's gonna take forever for it to render out. I mean, yeah, for basic, low bitrate, 1080p video, it's fine. I mean, if you want to do some basic multi-track stuff, maybe? I wouldn't push that too hard, I wouldn't try to do too many crazy effects, but for what most people want to do, just, you know, snip together a couple of basic clips, it can just about do it, so, yeah. So yeah, can the Raspberry Pi be a personal computer for most people? I'd say probably, assuming you had a better SD card than what I have, because what I have is ancient and it's slow, which would make it more expansive. There's the active cooler, which is five doubloons. I don't know, there's the uh, Jeff Geerling video where he goes through the whole comparison against the Raspberry Pi versus a uh, proper mini PC that's cost competitive once you add all the accessories to the Raspberry Pi to make it usable as a desktop computer. But um, if 
this is what you have, I think you'd probably be able to get away with it. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's about it. Bye.